God has been revealing to me more and more this year the judgment that this country has been under now for some period of time. And when you have it go good with you and then it doesn't hang around and it doesn't go so good with you, that's an implication maybe of you either being under spiritual attack and not having the warfare uh, to push the attack back. But it could also mean a area of sin in your life. When we enlarge that and we enlarge it to our community of the United States, we enlarge it first of all to our communities that we live in, the counties, the states that we live in, and then you enlarge that even more. You can see certain states just seem to be having trouble just all the time. I don't need to mention the states to you, but I've been saying it, and I know many of you have been saying it for 20, 30, 40 years. How come this happens in this state all the time? What? Why is this going on over there and it's not happening here? I'd like you to consider the fact that there are rules in each one of our states that are different from the rules in, a, in another state, maybe even a neighboring state. And the rules in the government are placed there by the people who elect officials that represent their heart and their mind. And it is not only a, a freedom to participate in an election, I believe, according to the Word of God, it's a responsibility to participate in an election. Because what we do is we put forward our righteousness in the form of a man or a woman who represents our righteousness. And as we know, Roe versus Wade happened back in 1973. I sent out a letter on this only a couple weeks ago. If you haven't received the letter, I'd be happy to send it to you. And just email me, Pastor at Mountain Faith. But 49 years, 49 years is that number where the Jews practice seven years of seven years or 49 years and then they were told in the book of Leviticus add a, another year to it and then celebrate your jubilee year or 50 years. So a jubilee year was every 50 years where, where debts were released. Land given back and recovered. Things were set back to normal like they hadn't been in 50 years. And the blood that's been shed on this country has brought a curse on this country. And we're praying that politicians that represent our point of view get put into power. But the same people that are praying that aren't even going and voting for the elections that represent their heart. And secretly, many people are mixed up about what their heart really is. And so they don't really go to the voting booths and, and represent the God of heaven and earth when they pull the trigger. So I believe what we're seeing in the news right now, whether you like to hear this or not, is this country's under a curse. You can't have leadership like this unless you're under a curse. And I may read a scripture from Jeremiah here this morning that, and there's many scriptures, but one that just leaped out at me yesterday. Again, the curse that a nation falls under in Jeremiah's day, it was Israel, but it's prophetic for today. We're living in the last days. God's trying to get the attention of not just the Christians, but particularly the non-Christians. And so I believe that we need to have revival. We need to have revival, first of all, in our hearts and our minds, secondarily our homes and our marriages, then with our children, then we expand it to our school system and our school boards, then we expand it. Of course, we need to have it in the church. We need to have revival here. I'm praying for revival every day. Pray for revival for people that even peer momentarily into our ministry. And if you see what's happening in our, minis our ministry, uh, our reach is extraordinary. On Sunday alone, we probably have, I'm just guessing, I, I don't know what the real numbers are, but this would be on the low end. We probably have a million people watching every single Sunday plus our YouTube channel. We now have over 10,000 subscribers, uh, our Facebook channel, our, our Roku channel, our, our, all of our different platforms, plus letters and emails. And anyone that peers momentarily into this ministry, whether they like it or not, whether they like me or not, whether they like God or not, 
I'm praying for them that revival breaks out in their home. So the moment they're channel flipping and they pause for long enough for God to consider briefly, momentarily looking in, could be a second. I got them. I got them. And fire is going to come through that television and that cell phone when they're on our YouTube channel or whatever. And I believe revival, revival breaks out. I'll tell you how revival works. One of the ways it works is it breaks out in the hearts of people who don't want revival. I mean, I, I was at a giant stadium and I was involved in a business. I was down in Georgia and 17,000 people in this giant auditorium on a Sunday morning. Some guy's up there preaching and he makes an altar call. I think it was 1981 or whatever year it was. And Dave Gonzalez stood up to the surprise of everyone and walked down to the preacher down at the down some 200 stairs down to the front. Gave my heart to Jesus. I didn't want to get saved that day. That's the last thing I wanted to do. God goes after the people who don't want it. You know, the people that are hot, they're honest. And the people that are cold are honest. Cold people are easy to get because they'll tell you, I don't like God. Right? It's the lukewarm he spits out of the mouth. So, be in agreement with me as I pray. Father Yahweh Elohim, we invoke your name over all those that peer into our ministry. Father God, even briefly, all those that live in the states that are represented by this ministry and the countries and the ministers and the pastors from overseas and all their congregations. Father God, I ask that revival break out in every single home, whether they want it or not. And Father, we agree right now Wherever two or more agree on anything is touching anything on earth, it shall be granted him by my Father who is in heaven. And Father God, I thank you for that and I give you glory. In Jesus' name, and all God's people said, amen, amen and amen and amen.